You haven't spoken for the past hour. Is everything okay? Yes. I can't believe you tonight. We're getting married, so I would assume you'd be interested in me and not other guys. What are you talking about? I see you laughing at every word that was coming out of his mouth. You're nuts. Couldn't you see he was just trying to impress you? You're envious of him. No, I'm not. But I'd prefer it if my fiance focused on me and not other guys. When I met you, you were never jealous. I don't know where this is coming from. I thought you were different. But it turns out you're just like the rest. Well, here's the pattern. Put me down, Justin, whenever you feel bad about yourself. That's not true. They didn't like your idea. You're upset at your own failure, but you won't admit it, so you blame me. This is your pattern. We both know the idea was shit. You said so yourself. No, no I never said it was shit. I just said it wasn't your best. I don't think I can do this. What? Do what? Get married. Well, if you can't do it, then you better tell me now. I don't know how. Don't, don't give me your sob story about being adopted. Man up. Take some responsibility for your own actions. I love you. But you have issues you have to address. That's a nice shirt. Is it new? Were you awarded the project? I just know you're gonna get it. You're so smart. I just know they're gonna love your idea. I think it's time. Okay. I think it's the right thing for you to do. Justin. What is this? I don't know. I think it's from your birth mother. letter is a month old, and you're just giving it to me now? I was scared, Justin. I didn't want to lose you. It's from somebody named Roberta. Brandy's in hospice. Brandy's in hospice. She could be dying. 
I have to get there now, and you just gave me this letter. What, are you crazy? Justin Duran here to see my mom, Brandy. Brandy McSweeney. Okay, do you have ID, I may see? I do. Okay, have a seat, please, and I'll get someone to help you. She always talked about you. She always hoped that you had a good life. But I am so very sorry she died last month. Come on, don't. Don't say that. Please. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Come on. Don't say that. <coughs> I'm so sorry for your loss, Justin. Because then you get to know her. I didn't even get a chance to tell her I forgive her. I'm a bereavement counselor. <laughs> I can help you work through this process. Is there anything you're feeling right now? Anything you want to tell me? Maybe you could write her a letter. She's dead. What is, what is the letter going to do? You're feeling a lot of emotion right now, Justin. A lot of emotion. Bullshit, man. Because you never met her. So all these feelings, that you're flooded right now. One show in Des Moines. The fans were screaming my name. Well, they had to usher me out Moines, through the basement. I'll drink and then the cops, they drove me to my hotel. But there were girls there waiting for me. <laughs> oh, wait. Donnie, <laughs> you're in this crossword puzzle. Oh, my God. Listen, what is the worst voice in show business? Donnie! All right, all right, all right. Look, what I, was, what I was saying before is that the musicians these days, they think that the only thing that's important is that they look good. They have nothing to say. Me, I didn't get as far as I got just because I looked good. Why are you running a bar then, Donnie, and not playing music? Power of one. ID. You're running a bar because you have burnt too many bridges. No, no, That's I was why. blacklisted. Uh, blacklisted. I was blacklisted. Oh, oh, blacklisted. Yeah, yeah. It's always someone else's fault. You are like a, a broken record. Do I know you from somewhere? Musician? No, not me. Whiskey Jam. I don't even know what that is. Is that a picture of your wife? She's pretty. Yes, she is. You didn't know that? That was my daughter. Oh, 
Before I saw And it's been the ruin of many a poor soul Okay, thanks Oh God, the one If I listen to what my mama said Justin, I was starting to get worried. Hey, Mom. Sorry, the reception up here isn't so good. Did you, uh, make it on time? No. I'm so sorry, Justin. Yeah, well, that's life. Now my mama, she's a tailor And she sold my new blue jeans Okay, I gotta go. Justin, I love you. Don't forget that. baby sister not to do what I have done some that house in New Orleans they call the rising sun power of one club soda in line oh you mean business she likes him suck it Roberta <laughs> My life is almost over. My race is almost won. And I'm going back to spend the rest of my days beneath that rising sun. Beneath. about Susan. She doesn't have to come. Justin! About time. We have a game. Ha, ha. Uh-oh. Get up. Justin the Confessor was a martyr for the Roman Empire. And for his faith, he was beheaded. Such is life. Side. How do you know so much about the name? I have a son named Justin. Thus, the name of the bar. Yeah. So where is he? Who? Your son? My, uh, mini-me. He gave him up. <laughs> you put your own son up for adoption? Well, you look like a capable provider. How does that happen? Why does anyone put their kid up for adoption? We couldn't take care of her. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Why? 
my, uh, my wife, my late wife, wasn't equipped to be a mother. Oh, shit. She wanted to be the wife of a rock star. She wanted to follow you around, travel with you, and look at you up on the stage. She didn't want to be a mother. <laughs> and, well, what could it do all you? All you got was this stupid bar. Time to go home, Roberta. You're done. No, you're done. <laughs> if he didn't want children, then why didn't he think about that before he knocked up my daughter? All right, finish your drink and go home. You're done. Time to go home. Trapped. He trapped my daughter. Trapped her with his little pecker. Who took care of that child, your child, for eight months while you were running around cheating on your wife. Me, that's who. We gave him up because we wanted a better life for the boy. Ah, a better life, a better life. He was your flesh and blood. What do you know? You abandoned your own father. Don't talk to me about flesh and blood. <laughs> You cheated on her when she was pregnant. When she had cancer. You'll go to hell or you will get hit by a bus. That's pretty shitty. Cheating on your dying wife. Oh, leave the kid alone. He is young enough to be your son. You miserable cocksucker. <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Look at you. Pathetic. Like your father. <clears throat> All right, you're out of here! No! No! Don't! 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 No! 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 Please! You don't know anything about me. What I feel. Every day I wish it could have been me. You have not said one word about my daughter since the day she died. It's called grief. Good grief! Oh. Talk to your son. in it for yourself. Like everyone else these days, it's nothing unusual. You ever think about calling them? All the time. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess. No, not really. I, I think about him every freaking day of my life. Then why'd you have him? We didn't plan it, believe me. That's what I never understood. How you could bring a life into this world and never truly think about the responsibility. 
you're a smart kid. I wish I was that smart when I was your age. And you would have used a condom. <laughs> <laughs> you miss him? You can't miss what you never had. You ever think he might come looking for you? Yeah, I'm sure he has his own life, doing his own thing. I mean, if he's anything like me, why would he come looking for something that isn't there? He, he leaving? Long day. Do I know you? No, you don't. Remember, kid, the only thing you have in this world is yourself. No, it doesn't quite work that way. I'm sorry for when I get jealous. It's not your fault. I need to treat you like you're my priority. Which you are. I fucked up. It's okay. You're suffering. Ahora descansa, okay? Nos vemos mañana. Te quiero mucho. It's like my clock is five minutes past Had so many plans, now there's no time left Tracing footsteps, start to go mad, trying to get back The seconds I thought, I thought that I had Sirens in my head, but the ambulance won't make it in time Now I just feel dumb, if I just go numb, will it all feel alright? Now I'm screaming every word to the earth, but what's there to say? Cause in the end, yeah, I guess that be fair, and that's just the Peace.